What's up my Pungios? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the uh, title suggests guys, we're going to be going over the best iPhone 14 accessories laid out here and uh, you know above me you guys can see. Now they just announced the iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max respectively. I currently have two dummy phones, one for the iPhone 14 Pro and one for the iPhone 14 Pro Max which is what I'm ultimately going to be getting. Uh, however, I do not have dummy phones for the others. So a lot of the accessories we're going to be going over are ubiquitous for the iPhone 12, 13, and 14. Uh, but granted, some of the cases here I'm going to be putting on are strictly for the uh, 13 Pro Max. Now, I've confirmed and ordered my own copies of each one of these uh, devices here, including um, some of the cases uh, from the folks at like Moment, and mouse I've also got the uh, the leather case from Apple and from moment that I will be uh, reviewing here shortly so uh, before we jump into it though however make sure you guys check out the links down below in the description for uh, the uh, my affiliate page as well as all of the products that we're going to be going over here today uh, with that said let's go ahead and uh, clear off my table I need to make sure and get chat up on my uh, monitor here and then we'll be jumping into this first product from the folks at Humix Testing, making sure we're all live, and I believe we are. Welcome, everyone, joining us. Uh, so, with the iPhone 14 coming out, uh, I wanted to go over a couple of the products here, but I got to clear my desk because we've got we've got like 40 products to go over here with you guys today, and a lot of these here um, I've kind of obtained throughout uh, the year because I'm a huge fan of the iPhone 13 and all of those respective products. So, what we'll be doing is going over rigs, we'll be going over chargers, we'll be going over battery packs cases grips all that good stuff we're going to be going over uh, audio equipment we're going to be going over other uh, you know lighting accessories here for you guys today so buckle up um, I'll go ahead and keep these guys on the desk we'll, we'll also go over some gaming products if that's something you guys are interested in now I'm literally just dropping these products on the floor I wish I had my table here but I don't nonetheless uh, we are making do with what we've got so, if you haven't already, guys, hit that follow button, please. I will be trying to stream more often, especially now that uh, Apple is out. I'll be going over specifically the cases here and showing you guys as they uh, come out. With that said, there are a slew of products that are already out that you guys can check out. Um, some really, really cool ones. So, the first and foremost, we've got a couple of shockproof and clear cases uh, from the folks at uh, Humix. Uh, I, I really like Humix. Uh, a lot of the products they are that they uh, come out with are very affordable and very reasonable. This uh, this package here, as you can see, is a five-in-one that includes um, a cover for your case. It comes with a screen protector and whatnot. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you here. Uh, we're going to look at the translucent, semi-clear, opaque. Uh, case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, so as you can see here, it's made of two different types of material, polycarbonate and a rubberization. It's a P TPC, uh, and, which is the hard plastic, and then the uh, polycarbonate material, which is the more uh, rubbery, like softer material. As you can see, it's uh, really well made, looks really good. You've got some uh, corner uh, tooling here on the edge to help prevent against bumps and, and drops. Uh, you obviously have a, uh, a little rib here, a, a, an indent for the protecting the, the lenses. This year, the lenses are much, much bigger uh, by comparison. And uh, it's just a beast, as you can see here, as it's connected. I'll move my, my screen there out of the way. Looks really good. Just so you guys know, these are dummy phones. These aren't the real phones. No one has them. But it looks really great. That's uh, what I recommend. Um, there's also a transparent one as well for the uh, iPhone 14 Pro, 
So this is what the Pro is going to look like compared to the Pro Max. These are dummy phones. As you can see, tooled really well, looks really good. We got the TPC and polycarbonate material. It lips up here at the front, giving you about a 60, 30 second of an inch. So if it falls, it's just rubbing against that material. Also against the uh, camera bump as well, as you can see. Uh, now this pack here uh, is a five in one. So it does come with a shell here for the lens. I, I like to keep that off because I, I, I trust that the lip here is sufficient. But as you can see, I've got a full screen screen protector. What's nice is they have the little lip and uh, it even uh, allows you to have enough room for the little island uh, that's going to come out. So it's not going to be like this, uh, the screen, some of the screen protectors like jet out here to give you that uh, protection there or less protection. But what I like is that Hummix provides you that protection here. With that said, um, I'm going to go ahead now and move on to uh, the next case. This is the clear transparent case from uh, the folks at Hummix as well. Similar in style, they've got the three in one or the five in one here. I really like me a uh, polycarbonate TPC case. Polycarbonate means PC, TPC is a, I don't actually don't know what that means. You engineers out there can tell me. Uh, zooming in on it again, uh, moving my little keyboard off of the, the table here. I really like me a transparent case. Really, really cool. I like how you can see the Apple logo as it comes off. And I forgot one thing. I forgot to invert my screen. So uh, now you can see the Apple logo and it's not flipped like a mirror. Uh, one thing to note here is that this definitely is a sponge for fingerprints, so you'll be uh, using you know one of those nice cloths to clean it off. But same kind of a thing. You've got the the five in one. Um, you've got the screen protector here as well. I think that's a really affordable price there. So we're going to move on next uh, to some of my favorite cases here. These are specifically on uh, the 13, so you'll notice the links there uh, are for the 13. They actually haven't migrated any of their products to Amazon, unfortunately. That's usually what happens with these companies is they wait a month or so before they can get all the, you know, the first initial sales on their own website. So I'm going to point you to the, uh, the equivalent on the 13 Pro Max, and that's what I currently am sporting right here. So uh, coming down here, showing you guys, uh, I really love what Moment has done. Moment um, is definitely like a mobile photography, cinematography uh, company. They also have tons of lenses and, well, they have tons of products for, uh, you know, actually actual SLR cameras as well as um, like mirrorless cameras, but I uh, I love what they do for uh, Your phone they've been making these really cool leather cases. They have their own other uh, polycarbonate case I have a pile of products here. Where did it go? Um, hold on So what I like about their products here is a couple things. They've got this uh, cork, uh, kind of a, uh, not, not silicone, but like a felice lining here on the inside of the cases, which is really nice. And all their cases are MagSafe compatible, which is great. We'll go over some MagSafe pro uh, products in a minute. So this is their leather um, Ultimate Essentials pack. It's like a, a nice uh, real leather i think it's been sourced out of the country though however it's patinaed pretty well as you can see i've had this for about six months it's very pretty i really like how the uh, leather wraps all the way around the edge here you got metallic buttons which are nice uh, i think they're aluminum you got the cutouts here for do not disturb and then all your io there uh showing you here this is uh specifically their tpc case polycarbonate mix kind of a thing where they actually have a drop-in lens mount that you can take out Unfortunately, it's not compatible for the leather. I hope this year for the 14 when it comes out that they uh, that they have that fixed. But um, you mainly want to have this so you can connect your lenses, which I'll show you in just a minute. But this is a, a lot more rugged. Um, it's thicker. Uh, they actually put a little bit more care in the engineering here on the edges. You can see there's little pockets. Uh, apparently, that's meant to uh, you know trap air in there and cause a little a little bit more of a buffer uh, against drops and whatnot. So uh, this is kind of my go-to here. When I'm out and about, uh, and I've also got this leather strap here that you guys can see. Uh, I'll highlight it on 
uh, the stream here. I think I have this. I put it somewhere. I thought I put it towards the cases. Um, I don't have it here. Shucks. It, it's somewhere in the reel. You can scroll through it. But nonetheless, um, made of a nice grippy material. So when you uh, when you go to you know film, you're holding it. It's nice and grippy there, which I appreciate. Moving on here to a few of my other favorite uh, creator, uh, favorite models of cases uh, for the iPhone, which again are available for the 14. We've got um, from the folks at Mouse. They have a whole slew of polycarbonate. They have a new granite, which is a white marble or a white granite looking one that looks really cool. And um, their cases are really high quality. They have this limitless. Uh, technology where they add rubber in between uh, the case and they add uh, polycarbonate and, and uh, a hard plastic material as well as your choice of back. So I chose the walnut back um, and I really like the walnut back because it's really classy um, and it just looks really good. It smells pretty good too um, and you can also get a leather variant of it. I don't have the leather but uh, if you check out their link uh, you can see all of the different products that are available. So. Uh, showing you up close again, uh, totally MagSafe compatible. As you can see the ring and the anchor right there. Um, you can see here that uh, you've got in green here, this is rubber, uh, which is really cool. So this will help protect against higher falls and drops and uh, you know more drops if you're prone to dropping. Buttons aren't metallic, which is unfortunate. I wish they were. They are kind of just punched out. Uh, however, they do have a nice little lip here for the case. So again, guys, this is not the 14. This is the 13 Pro Max, but um, I did confirm on the website they are going to have these available here shortly. So you can check out currently the uh, the 13 variant. Uh, so what I also like is the careful tooling here. As you can see, it lips up on the forehead and on the chin. Uh, in the event that it falls on its case, it rubs against this rather than uh, your screen. What I like here is uh, you do have um, really wide cutouts for your I.O. buttons and do not disturb, which is really nice. Let's go to move on to another leather case that uh, I do enjoy myself. Uh, this is from the folks at Nomad. If I can find it, that's like the most difficult thing here. OK, so what I love about moment or what I what uh, moment. What I love about Nomad here, guys, is that um, shortly they, and I again, I confirm this with the company, they, uh, they are going to be bringing their brand new line of leather cases uh, from iPhone 14 over to Amazon shortly. Again, when they come out initially, they want to sell them on their website, but you can see down below the link for uh, the product for the 13 Pro Max. So uh, this is sourced from uh, leather from uh, the USA. They have two types of leather. This is their... Uh, modern leather and then they just came out with a horine leather that i think sourced from chicago which is uh, really really exciting um the engineering here from from nomad is honestly i think the best in class even uh, compared to apples i think apples i found out it was sourced outside the u.s so uh, if that's something that you care about this is something i would highly consider here so with that said um this is what the case looks like uh what i what i like here is that this is more of like a cushion it's springy. It's not cork like the moment. Um, you've obviously got a, kind of a lining here. It seems like a synthetic lining. That's not as soft as you know the moment that I said. However, uh, it does have the built-in MagSafe, so that is compatible, and it looks just fine, which I'll show you in just a minute when we get through um, the MagSafe portion. As you can see, similarly to the uh, moment, they do have this careful engineering on the inside. As you can see, you've got these little pockets all around the edges of the case to help protect. Uh, what that does here is it traps uh, air inside of the case and in the event of a fall, it will uh, it will protect. I mean, it's not gonna guarantee that it's not gonna break, right? You can never guarantee that, but um, that engineering, I, 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 I appreciate. I've dropped this from about five to six feet off my table, standing up from a chair and uh, it's been fine. But again, don't, <laughs> don't test that. I, I don't recommend it because you could break your phone. These are expensive. Uh, with that said here, um, let's go ahead now and talk about charging. Um, so as you guys know, Apple is notorious for, for giving you as least as they can in the box. And so uh, right now they have basically just 
they're just going to be giving you the, the lightning cable and a USB-C. There were some rumors that it was going to be USB type C, um, but that has been debunked obviously with it coming out. So I'm going to be showing you here uh, what I'd recommend for charging. I've got this um, DoG uh, 65 watt uh, multi-functional, uh, if I could find it, golly, I wish I was more for it. Here it is. The 65 watt plug, I highly recommend it. Um, each, each slot is about 20 watts. Um, the USB type C is a little bit more. USB 3.0 is um, a little bit less. So you can see what's nice here is you can charge multiple uh, devices at the same time, up to 65 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my plug here, plug it in. Once you plug it in, uh, you're gonna see it's got a nice LED light. You're gonna get ye, ye old iPhone. Uh, I'm gonna grab this case. I just need to grab a case so I can show off the MagSafe in just a second. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm so notorious for losing stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Back up. Where did it go? There it is. I found it. <laughs> Make sure and protect your cases here. Okay, so moving on to um, you know the charging aspect of devices, you need to get yourself a plug. So unfortunately, you know Apple doesn't give you plugs anymore. So with that said, uh, they are going to give you a, a cable, which is a USB Type C. Plugging it in here, very simple. You can choose whatever slot you want. You're going to pick your phone and it's going to start charging. Great. Again, you can, you can charge multiple devices if you wanted to charge uh, iPhones. I mean, if you want to charge your MacBook Pro, it supports that. If you wanted to charge your iPad or your other tablets, it's certainly something that you can consider. Uh, next up here is uh, along with the charging here uh, for travel, I, I personally like to get these, um, these foldable like two-in-one or three-in-one kind of desk mounts or like travel mounts. They're pretty cool. So Apple came out with one um, when MagSafe was released. And uh, it's called the Duo, which I thought I had over here. It's on my other side. So uh, this is the MagSafe Duo here. It allows you to charge anything wireless, um, including your Apple Watch. So firstly, I'm going to show you here that it can charge the Apple Watch and your AirPods. So I've got Apple Watch, AirPods, uh, maybe. Uh-oh. You know what? I think they're, they're a little... Um, no, that's working here. You can see that. Okay. I just couldn't see the dot here because it's so bright. As you can see here, we've got the Duo. You can also throw your phone on there. It'll start MagSafe charging. I think it's up to 7.5 watts here on uh, your Apple iPhone. Uh, the watch, I think it's 5 watts. Now, if you want to upgrade here and try something a little more um, interesting... Uh, there is another one from the folks at uh, Murpiso. Uh, this is my go-to. So if I'm traveling, if I'm uh, going on vacation with the wife and kids, and you need a plug, um, you need something to charge, and you didn't want to bring a thousand plug, this is a USB Type C, and uh, it outputs up to 20 watts, from what I understand. Obviously not collectively. Uh, so you plug it in and it's cool. It's got these uh, RGB colors on the side. It's really fun. And then you got your three slots to charge rather than your two. So we're going to put our AirPods here on the side. We're going to put the iPhone. And then we're going to put Apple Watch. All are charging. All of it is fun. It even, uh, it even moves up if you want to have it kind of as your desk buddy. When you're sitting on your desk, when you're traveling, you've got this option here, which is pretty cool. Um, 
it does change color when it's charged. Um, I really like that touch. It's a little too bright here for you guys to see, um, but just know that that's an option here that you guys can consider. All right, continuing on the multimedia kind of a thing. So uh, if you are like me and you want to stream and play, um, you know, games, try out some uh, COD. If you want to uh, play, f oops, if you want to play uh, the Rift game from League of Legends. A lot of the products here that you may have purchased in the past are different, definitely backwards compatible. So I've got this little dongle uh, that's lightning cable. It charges through lightning cable and then you have a USB or HDMI. So if you wanted to output your screen, if you wanted to watch your, you know, Netflix or whatever, that's certainly an option. Okay, we're going to move on to MagSafe. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Uh, so um, obviously the iPhone 14 all of the uh, products are MagSafe compatible, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite MagSafe. Um, let's go ahead and pull all those out. If you guys don't mind giving me a second here, I have a number of MagSafe power banks that also act as uh, charging banks with a cable. So I'll have the, the cord here. If you give me a second, I'll prep that. We've got. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, to let me know. I, I've definitely got my chat up so I can respond to those if you guys are interested. Uh, I think that's it. Did I have five on there? One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing the anchor. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're going to first start off with uh, the the Apple MagSafe MagBank. Um, this one, I've been a little disappointed. They haven't, they haven't refreshed it for two years. So this came out when the I iPhone uh, 12 came out. So two years ago now to the day, if not week. And uh, it's been a little lackluster. They finally pushed out a update to it, including um, the ability to output 7.5 watts. Uh, apparently it didn't. And people kind of called Apple out on that. Uh, not myself included. I didn't even know. So you've got MagSafe power bank from uh, Apple. Uh, I have my. There we go. So you can see it's very, very wide. It, it's my favorite feeling, like favorite touch. Um, it is really thin, fits in your backpack. It's about 1900 milliamps. So that's like a quarter of a charge, it seems like, half of a charge. Um, nonetheless, it uh, fits, slaps right on the back here. No problem there. Uh, the next one I wanted to show you guys here is my second favorite. This is from the folks at iWalk. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery. So this will give you about a single charge. What I like about this product here is that uh, you've got a ring here to allow you to not only hold it when it's in position, right? So in the event that you know, you want to grip it, you've got your finger there to catch. It's also like a little desk buddy. So you can have it landscape to watch Netflix on your desk while you're working and whatnot. This is what I really like about this. In addition here, um, you can see that it's it's got nice uh, rubberization on the back with some stickiness. Uh, and then you've got your USB Type-C to charge, your buttons on the side here, and it's got a LED to show you uh, how much you have left. So I've got 88. In order to activate, you have to push the button, clip it on, and you'll see the uh, MagSafe animation. So, pretty cool. I like this. I find this is my go-to. Um, next one here is going to be from the folks at Anchor. They just released this. Uh, this one's pretty exciting. Uh, much, much smaller than the other uh, version. Two years ago, they came out with a big old chunky guy. It was like twice the size of the Apple MagSafe, but now it's about the same size. 5,000 milliamps. Uh, and it's supposed to be pretty fast, um, but the problem is, is um, well, it doesn't have the MagSafe animation. In my opinion, the MagSafe animation is 5 watts, uh, or excuse me, is 7.5 watts, but if it doesn't have the animation, it's only 5 watts. So as you can see, you've got the indicator here on the bottom with the button and USB Type-C charging. It's supposed to charge liquid fast. Uh, apparently, it can charge up to 20 watts when you're pl plugging it in. So if you wanted to output 20 watts... You know, you just plug her on in, get your charging cable, and this is how you can get a much faster charge, the fastest charge that you need from your piece. 
There it is. Charge. Boom. Bang. Bang. Next up is uh, a little bit bigger of a battery bank. Um, it's about twice as thick as the Anchor. However, it's it's quite compact. This is from the folks at Oweasel. This is an 8,000 milliamp. What I like about this is uh, each one of these ports is 20 watts, up to 40 watts. So if you had a MacBook, you could definitely charge through it. It's USB Type-C, so you can uh, basically charge three things at once, which is nice. Uh, I need to fix the brightness on there. Give me a second, folks. My camera isn't auto adjusting um, the lighting, so my apologies here. Yeah, so this one, the one thing about this is that uh, sometimes it's it, it doesn't go on. It's supposed to know when to start charging when you plug it in, but it doesn't. I've been having a hard time, but it's got this cool LED thing. Um, I thought you tap it. It won't. There we go. So it's purple. It's almost dead, uh, but it's supposed to charge here, hopefully at uh, 7.5 watts. There you go. MagSafe animation, as you can see. It's charging. Uh, when you charge it, it'll go blue rather than purple. But right now, it's it's not going on. Oh, there you go. It starts to tap, so you can see it. It's pretty cool. I like it. This is uh this is also nice to have. Um, nextly here, I was gonna show a a little bit bigger. iWalk kind of dominates the world when it comes to these MagSafe devices. So uh, this one is much more chunky. It's about twice the size as the original one that I showed you. This is 10,000 milliamps. It's like, I mean, it's big. It's a big boy. And it even has like a circular thing to protrude. I mean, it's big. This guy, you're going to notice it's there. It's even got a heat sink, <laughs> you know, to dissipate the, the heat. On the top here, you've got your button. You can see an LED screen here showing you how much you have left. It will then activate the MagSafe animation, 7.5 watts, charged by USB type see um, this guy you really you can't really put it anywhere to have it work right it's really thick in the hand so you know this is one of those things that you put in your backpack while you're at school whatnot forget about it I mean you're not gonna be you're not gonna be doing much with this thing on except for when you're in a pinch you need to charge this is my go-to and then lastly here uh, the last thing that I would recommend guys of all the MagSafe is uh, this big guy this thing is huge this is a 20,000 milliamp brick and MagSafe uh, device so um, you know this is something that I definitely bring with me when I'm going to Disneyland when I'm uh, headed uh, you know on a long trip when I go to work this is uh, my go-to here so it's about the size of your iPhone very big very bulky about two widths of it. Uh, but what's nice is it has tons of I.O. You've got two USB type C, uh, one USB type C and two USB 3.0 and MagSafe. So you have four devices that you can charge simultaneously. Um, granted your, uh, you know, your output is going to be reduced. So your Watts are going to be re reduced quite a bit. Um, I believe this is only five Watts, uh, output. You, uh, connect it via MagSafe, push the button and, and it, I don't know if it's going to do the MagSafe animation. Yeah, see, it, it does that animation. So in my opinion, it's only five watts, which is what it looks like. Let's clear all my notifications so you stop seeing them. Um, also, this acts as a nice little desk buddy as well, which is cool. You've got this little latch that you can pull out. And uh, if you wanted to Netflix and chill while charging, you've got that uh, option here, as you guys can see really nice landscape horizontal you have a, a, a multitude of different positions that you can place it in so those are all of the uh, the major MagSafe products that I recommend uh, really cool options here guys that you guys can consider for the iPhone 14 um, I'm showcasing my iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max it's obviously not out yet uh, folks are getting them next week I'm not gonna be getting the Pro Max until October I will be getting the 14 next week though so let's go and shift gears to more of your active uh, cinematography and photography folks uh, for you creatives out there. If you want to have a rig, um, here is the base rig that I recommend. Uh, this is from the folks at Shoulder Pod. Uh, what's nice here is it's got a wooden grip and it's uh, got a screw tight kind of a C-clamp, which is really nice. Um, this is my go-to if you just want to like hold it out. 
Um, remember guys, holding your phone out vertically is the best way to do it. Do not do it horizontally because, well, I guess, I guess TikTok's a thing and reels and whatnot, but I'm a ve vehemently against using your phone like that. So, uh, placing it on here, uh, to show you an up close, we've got a real wood uh, and corked grip here. You have a quarter inch mount on the bottom, which is nice. You can unscrew this here and you have um, a quarter inch screw. And then you've got this thumb screw here to uh, pull it tight. This is kind of my go-to to, to uh, run around with the kids when I vlog. And uh, it's nice that you have that option. Uh, one thing that I would like to have on this that I wish shoulder pod uh, would add, it's been a couple years since this guy came out. They don't have a cold shoe mount. It'd be nice to have a cold shoe mount to be able to put like a light or uh, a microphone. but. Now this is really nice. You can get your wrist strap, put it around your wrist. But you got a nice little grip here for uh, vlogging and whatnot. Next on my list here are um, uh, is the Shift Cam uh, products. So Shift Cam has recently kind of come into the accessory world uh, with Guns Ablazing, which is exciting because Moment has really kind of uh, corner of the market, but I couldn't add the uh, pro grip for some reason. They took it off of the listing It's not available anymore um, But it was on Amazon for some reason. I think you can get it from a third party I couldn't add it here to the stream, but uh, I wanted to show you kind of this running gun uh, Grip mount that uh, is for any mag safe iPhone and Android So what's cool about this product here are a few things uh, you've got this uh, wrist strap grip, which is nice and tight for all ages, all sizes, all shapes. Uh, you've got a cold shoe mount here, which you can add on to it. You've got a quarter inch mount on the bottom. Um, you charge the battery here. Yes, there's a battery built in um, for not only the shutter button, which connects to the iPhone to you know take pictures and videos, but you've also got a MagSafe Qi charge. So you hit the Qi charge. The green light will hit, you place it on there, and there you are charging. MagSafe 7.5 watts, which is really cool. Um, you also have the ability to take pictures, so I will show you here. You press this button to activate the shutter. I, I really need to take the, um, the case off because this leather strap is a little cumbersome here. You can see the, the light up above giving me a little bit of a key light. Okay, so... The grip uh, supports really large phones. It's nice. You can see my, my silly face here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to photo, switch it. There you go, I took my picture. Uh, is it working? There we go. No, there we go. There's the picture, I took the picture. Switch over to video. You can have the video start, stop as well. It's fantastic, I love it. You can even set it up for, um, as a desk buddy here, as you can see. You can set up as a desk buddy. I mean, it's not the best for taking photos of your videos of yourself, but if you are going live on Amazon, it might be something you're, you're interested in. Also, you can do it landscape if you wanna do TikTok videos and uh, video yourself, which is pretty cool. I like that. And it's a nice angle. It's 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 a it's a reasonable angle. Now the reason why I bring this here uh, is because they also have a uh, photography kit and a cinematography kit. I posted the photography kit, which is what I enjoy. It has this cool little uh, case. I also have the oh I, that's where it was. I was looking for this. <laughs> uh, this is the drop-in uh, lens mount here. So if you have their uh, lens their cases, this is the lens mount and how it screws on. You've got your anamorphic, you've got your tele, and your wide. These are my go-to lenses. I think they're fantastic. They really help you level up your photography. Um, three in one for that price is fantastic. This is the 18 millimeter wide. It looks really, really good. Really high quality glass. It's got these cool uh, magnetic metal lens caps. Here's the 60 millimeter 2X. Beautiful, beautiful lens. They will be coming out with a case shortly. 
And then you got your anamorphic blue. Anamorphic looks beautiful, cinematic, 1.33x. It's awesome. Showing you here what that looks like in Praxis. Placing my phone in there. You got the, uh, the drop-in lens mount right there. You got the leather case. Let's go ahead and put the anamorphic lens on there. Boom. It just looks really good. You can turn the, the lens there and look how great that looks. Let's go ahead and throw on the pro grip. I just, I'm bothered. I couldn't find the pro grip there on, on the link. I couldn't link it here, guys. You can, you can, uh, just search it on Amazon. You can search it there. I'll have, I have a, I'll have a link ultimately, but this is, this is really what, what you're going for. I mean, look at that. It looks so cool. You got your shutter, you got your lens, you got your battery pack, your grip. This is, this is definitely peak photography, running gun for the iPhone. Love that stuff. Alrighty guys, uh, moving on here to another uh, grip slash rig that uh, I wanted to show you guys. This is from the folks at Moment here. So they've got this uh, mobile filmmaker that's going to be compatible for your Apple 13, Apple 12, you know, Apple 14 that just released. I'm going to go ahead and put on the applicable case here. So uh, like I said, this is the Moment case with drop-in lens mount. And uh, give me just a second here to pull out the lenses and the full uh, grip and whatnot. So this will take me a second here. Oh, whoops. I'll put it in the wrong way. You got to match it up properly here. So I, uh, I have confirmed that Moment will be bringing uh, their drop-in lens uh, mounts as well as all of the lenses and MagSafe products shortly. Um, they are all available. It's fantastic, really exciting, and I'm looking for my lenses here that are all scattered on the ground. Where are they? I got one more here. Where they? And the filmmaker rig. Okay, so filmmaker rig. I really love this. This is one of my go-to's here. So let me just kind of set up the uh, rig here. Uh, where is it? So um, with this rig here, you've got a bunch of different options. It's powered by MagSafe. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and put, um, you know, the MagSafe case on there. Okay, so you've got your case. Oh, I gotta tighten that. Shut up a second. I'm getting screwdriver. Oh, Oh, uh, I didn't tighten it here. I, I need the uh, little Allen wrench here. But okay, so you've got the rig. You got the filmmaker rig here. You got the mag safe. You got the lens. What's nice here on the bottom is you got a, a myriad of different mounts, right? You got the three uh, three fifths. You got the quarter inch mount. You got all all along the side. If you have extra rigging, you've got all these different um, spots to place extra accessories here. And then what's nice on top is you've got two different spots here for um, additional accessories. You got these cold shoe mounts. So I've got two different accessories I wanted to show you today. Oh, three technically. Where is the light? Oh, I didn't put the light on the list. Dang it. I'm a one man show here, guys. Okay, so let's show you what this looks like. So I've got this uh, Rode Video Mic uh, microphone as well as the rig there's the the road video mic i this is my go-to i love this thing place that on the top and then i've got this little tiny uh key light from the folks at movo i haven't added it there i probably won't i'll do it after the video but place that there and then you got yourself a rig i don't have the allen wrench to be able to tighten it whoops oh no I don't have the Allen wrench to be able to tighten it, but this is what your rig is going to look like. You do need to have an adapter if you uh, are connecting via 3.5 millimeter. So let's go ahead and uh, affix that on here. Oh, 
I'm gonna get one of the lenses on there too. Let's move shift cam. Get out of the way, shift cam. And this is a myriad of products here that we're going over. So uh, why don't we get the anamorphic gold? Get the anamorphic gold on there. Let's go ahead and get the rig. There it is, and boom. There's your whole rig, lens. Great creation there. Uh, I'm rolling over all of my products. Boom. Looks really cool. So if you're you know you're taking vlogging seriously, if you want something more cinematic, this is what I recommend. I don't have an Allen wrench, uh, otherwise I would tighten this. There's a little screw down here that I need to tighten it, and I, I don't have the, the, the wrench here. Um, what you can do as well is add a tripod to uh, put it to make it static here. There you go. So if you wanted to talk at camera, if you wanted to have that viewing angle, you have that option there. Pretty exciting. Like really exciting to be honest. I uh, I can't hold in my excitement much longer. So this is uh, all going to be available for the iPhone 14, which is really exciting. Uh, so let's go ahead now and show you some of the other products and accessories that you can attach to this rig. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the tripod mount. We're going to take off uh, this microphone. And I'm going to show you another separate microphone. So this just recently came out from the folks at Rode. This is the Rode uh, video mic go to this is much more robust this is actually uh, something that I put on my vlogging camera um, my mirrorless camera absolutely so what's cool here is that you have two options you can connect via 3.5 millimeter which is typical but this this uh, this boom mic can also be attached to your computer um, you've got a quarter inch if you have a, a mount and you can attach it via USB. So if you're doing some streaming on, you know, Amazon Live, you can do that. Really, really nice cardioid directional shotgun mic. Uh, you can mount it here to the quarter inch, or excuse me, the the cold shoe mount. Tighten it there, and now you've got. Oof! I didn't tighten it. Whoopsie! Oh, I did it the other direction. Okay, hold on. There we go. What is happening here? I don't know how to spin, apparently. Why can't I do that? Oh, I can't spin it the wrong direction. There we go. Sorry, guys. User error. Bah. Hey Mav, what's up? What's going on, Punyos? Where are you at, Andy? Right here, bro. Okay, so this is the rig. This is what it looks like. Running around campus, interviewing folks for, for class. You can uh, throw on this key light. Oh, darn it. There we go. Throw on the key light. Brighten it. Looks awesome. Really cool rig here. So um, going back to some of the other products, uh, I'm going to go ahead now and show you. Um, let's show you some more of the lenses. We've got the uh, Moment Tele lens. So this is your 2X lens on top of whatever you've got. The reason why you ha want to have one of these lenses here is because, well, unfortunately, there isn't the center shift the sensor shift technology on the wide or on the the three X. So you do have some stabilization naturally on the iPhone. Um, but on the one X, the main lens, you do not have that stabilization. So you want to add a lens to optically zoom in. Hence having a 58 tele lens. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Gives you an extra two X and then you can pinch and you can pinch and zoom in you know, all the way up to just before you hit that 3x, you can get almost 5x here um, on this optically, which is really cool. So this is one that I recommend. 
Uh, lastly here that I kind of alluded to, we've got the gold anamorphic. This is really, really cool. I'll kind of showcase what uh, an anamorphic lens does to your footage. Uh, so uh, what's nice is the folks at Moment have a lens. Um, well, they have an app here to adjust your lens. So if you want, uh, you, you select the anamorphic. I'm going to switch to uh, photo. And I'm going to take a photo here that you'll see. Uh, I want to show you my... So as you can see, it's a very, very wide... It's a very, very wide picture. It gives you 1.33x. So that's what's cool. It's it's a cinematic thing. Um, I love it. It flares. It flares in light. Like a, like a lens that flares in the... In the movie so um yeah so that's that and then i have a nice nifty couch that these all sit in which is cool so if you have yourself some lenses here you can uh have this belt pouch as well as backpack strap pouch which is really cool place them on in here and they sit real nicely like that pretty cool I found the leather strap here, so if you guys are interested and you want to have a little leather wrist strap, genuine leather, there you are. Really, really cool. It looks it looks fantastic in my opinion. Okay, there's one other lens that, that I wanted to share with you guys. It just came out recently. Um, this is from the folks at Shift Cam. This is a uh, 3.5 or 1.55x, so it's a 2 by 21 by 3 or whatever. It's that cinematic uh, width. So if, if you're you know wanting to make something more cinematic and have that much richer width, you know width and the black bars on the picture, um, this is your go-to. So what's cool is with this package you get this really nice carrying case. It comes with a mount if you don't have uh, the proper mount. What's nice is the mount for the uh, the small rig uh, lens. Is ubiquitous it works with the moment lens and so again if that's something that you're interested in for the iPhone 14 you have this option here you also have a filter mount so if you wanted to add a 37 millimeter filter on there like an ND filter um, if you wanted to add a diffusion filter that kind of a thing so application is very very simple twister on what's nice is the the lens actually comes off magnetically to allow you to align it right and then you can put it vertically or horizontal, yeah, horizontally, horizontally or vertically if you want to do TikTok, that kind of a thing. Really, really cool lens, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the trick with this one is a little bit different because it's 1.55. You're gonna have to figure out how to edit that out. All right, so that pretty much sums up uh, the majority of the accessories for uh, the cameras. I'm gonna go into showing you a few more magsafe related uh products here i have uh this moment tripod magsafe um mount which i think is important if you uh, like to talk at camera if you want to make content for instagram if you're making tiktok videos um, and you want that vertical uh length let me show you what an option is here let me pull these all out All right, so you're a vertical gal, you're a vertical guy, whatever you want. You've got this quarter inch mount with, uh, it's like a two or three inch, um, um, I don't know what you call this, stand, and it's MagSafe. So it just kind of slaps on your moment. There you go. You can use it as a selfie rig, but then... It stands up vertically and horizontally. So you can get that talking at camera, TikTok feel, and uh, you still have room for your tripod mount. They do have a number of other accessories here uh, that you can add a cold shoe mount that you guys can check out. It's the same kind of idea. Uh, it's something that I'd recommend. If you uh, want a smaller mount, you can uh, consider that. Last mount here is if you want to do a little something a little more extreme or if you want to you know outside 
wrap this to a pole. You've got the option here to um, mount this to a bar. As you can see, I've got my microphone. I can wrap it to my microphone if I wanted. And you can kind of get that boom arm um, feel. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going on like a, you know, like a, on a BMX or like, uh, you know, on your motorcycle with this because MagSafe isn't super, it isn't super strong. I mean, it's about a pound or two. If, if you're going thousands of miles an hour, you know, it's going to be dangerous. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, I wanted to show you guys another option here, a steady cam. So um, there's pretty much one product out there that's getting all of the noise when it comes to steady cams. And uh, it's it's the folks at DJI, and I didn't want to show that today. I wanted to show another option because I think this one is very very fantastic. Uh, this is from the folks at uh, Hohem. It's their iSteady version two. Last year they came out with version one. Uh, I got it, liked it, but I think it, it, it could have had some improvements. They improved upon it, and uh, here is the outcome of that. So this is something I wanted to show you guys for your iPhone 14 when it comes out. This is something you can consider. So. Uh, very compact, as you can see. You can throw it in your backpack. Um, it's uh, it's really, really tight, minimalist. You basically pull it off of uh, its little clip here. You unscrew the joint. You rescrew the joint on, and then there you have it. You're gonna place your phone here with the, uh, you know, with the Hohem facing. The right way that you can read I don't recommend using a case on this just because uh, of the payload uh, like limitations but this can hold up your iPhone currently you've turned the power on and it immediately starts stabilizing your your whoops I keep tapping the wrong one. it immediately starts stabilizing your your camera here What's nice is you have an analog joystick to kind of do pan and tilt. It, uh, it's super sturdy. You can move it around a lot. You can see here, it's got the tilt, pan. Uh, you can do it so it's in POV mode. Uh, in other words, um, it can do like all three axes. But uh, I really like this. This is my go-to for sure. Um, running around with the kids, it's nice, long battery life. It's got a, a quarter inch tripod mount here and it's just really nice. They do have a, a dedicated app for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it just because it hasn't been optimized for iPhone 14 or 13. Uh, nonetheless here, this is a definitely go to reasonable priced uh, steady cam. If you're at like a festival, if you're at Disneyland and uh, you know, you want to be able to chase around kids, hold it up while you're on those, um, those rides, it's something I consider. Alrighty, so let's go ahead now and move on to the the tail end of our uh, presentation here. I was going to go over uh, gaming and then I was going to go over audio. So uh, there is only one device that I recommend for gaming, and it's the Backbone device. It's uh, this thing's amazing. Um, they've just come out with the uh, PlayStation Five version, uh, so you have. The ability, if you have PlayStation, to stream to your iPhone. And uh, we'll show you what gaming looks like on your phone. And I can't find it. Where did it go? <coughs> oh, there it is. All right. So this is the uh, Backbone. Really, really cool product. Something I highly recommend. Um, for the iPhone um, Pro Max and higher, you do need to have this little uh, bumper that you can, it's sold separately. It just, it makes the grip bigger. So if you're getting the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's something you recommend. But everything below it should be able to fit, including 14. So uh, you're going to place the phone in there. You're going to see the button show up. Press the button and it'll take you immediately to the backbone interface. There you go. What's cool is uh, this will this is a place here to uh, showcase all of your different apps, right? So uh, here's all the apps that I've downloaded. I've got Sky, Oceanhorn, Minecraft, Apex Legends, Diablo, Immortal, Gl Grimoire, Forgone, Batlands, you know, Crashlands, 
Contra, all this stuff. There's tons here. You've got Genshin Impact, Ocean Horn, Transistor, Exit the Gudgeon. You got your classics like Chrono Trigger, Fez, Roblox, Rayward Souls. Tons. Whoops. Um, and then you've got your streaming. So if you've got Xbox Game Pass, you can stream. Um, I have Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming through the Safari app. That's, uh, it's totally controller supported. As you can see, you can play all these games that have just come out. Tropic, Fable 3. Ooh, I want to play that. Um, Fortnite, you can play on cloud. Halo Infinite. All these games that you can stream. Super cool. And then, like I said, you have the PlayStation. You can stream to the PlayStation. I don't think my PlayStation's on. You can stream to Steam Link, which is cool too. You can uh, connect to your PlayStation. You can play Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. You can play Spider-Man's. Let's see if I can turn on my Xbox or my PlayStation. Really, really cool. It's all built into it. It's a service that's free. You don't necessarily need to uh, to subscribe to anything. And uh, Backbone is something I really like. Uh, the device itself, while that's pulling up, you've got your two triggers, left and right triggers. Obviously, the analog uh, in the position of Xbox, your D-pad, and then all of the uh, applicable buttons, like the home button and the uh, settings button, ABXY. You've got USB out, uh, USB C. No, this is a Thunder out, and then you've got a, a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. So it's pretty cool. So my PlayStation isn't turned on, so we can't show you that here. But if we wanted to go into Minecraft, I can show you here the Bedrock Edition. Um, it's all native controller support. It's, it's all, it all uses the MOBA controller schema or whatever. Uh, so you can see when I get into Minecraft and it's got built in streaming. If you want, you can take a picture, you push the button to stream. It's really, really cool. You can connect Twitch to it, streaming through Twitch. If you want, uh, too bad you can't do uh, YouTube gaming anymore. Rip YouTube gaming. Um, I have my survival world right here. I got to update it. Fiddlesticks. I'm just making a I have to update the game. I haven't updated this game. But as you can see here, it's building the terrain. Uh, I will move my uh, desk up here. Get a little bit closer to you guys. There you go. Whoa. I think I'm in water here. There we go. All the assets haven't necessarily populated here so you go i mean that's it it's all native uh where's my audio it looks great if you want to pick this up for the kids if you're looking to give this to them this is certainly something i recommend it's all native you know to the xbox schema collecting our sand and whatnot all right, guys, uh, with that, let's go ahead now and uh, bring the desk down and show you uh, a couple other accessories. Obviously, there's the a Apple AirPods. Um, where did I put mine? These are no-brainer. We're going to move over to the audio as Minecraft um, is on my screen. Okay. All right. So, uh, AirPods, uh, we were on AirPods. Uh, they just released the AirPods pro two, which is kind of exciting. Um, you know, you guys know about AirPods. I mean, I don't really need to go over it too much. Uh, I'll just go over the accessories that I use here for AirPods. Um, right. So, uh, here is the AirPods three generate third generation. I really like these because they're somewhat integrated with the air tag technology which AirTag is something that I could show you. Really nice, they look really great. They've got great drivers, bass, all that good stuff. And I am not, there we go. Not focusing, there we go. Looks really good. I am, uh, I'm using the leather case from the folks at Moment. Looks really good. 
You can add a wrist strap if you wanted to it. Very, very pretty, really, really nice. Fits in the ear just fine. AirPods look really cool. They make the sound when they go in your ear. They fit really nice. I always put them in and forget them. I forget that they're there. Uh, nextly here, I wanted to show you another uh, more affordable option from the folks at Skull Candy. This is the Sesh Evo. These are definitely my go-to uh, Android and iOS, but uh, especially for your iPhone. Something super simple to place on. It charges USB Type-C, lasts for forever. You have them in your ear. They look really good. They pair really easily, and they use uh, Skull Candy's uh, sound engine. You can connect it to their um, app. It looks really good in the ear, really affordable. What's nice is you have a bunch of different ear tips um, and they really engineered that well. Uh, next up here is um, the JBL Live 500BT. These are my go-to for over-the-ear headphones. Uh, these are fantastic uh, sound canceling phones. Um, they have the little, the, the faux leather around the ears. It breaks down. It's made of really, really strong, high quality material. It looks good. Um, you can connect to pretty much any type of Bluetooth device. Charge by USB, micro USB. You've got your volume up and down, back, play, power. Uh, you've also got three different, um, the, uh, um, what is it called? Ambient noise, uh, what is it? Not reduction, it's, um, a and C, what is, it, what is that called? Darn it. Active noise cancellation, sorry. So they've got the active noise cancellation and then the transparent mode. And then you can connect uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is cool. So you can you can wire directly in. And uh, I really like these. Connect these to your iPhone and uh, you literally can't see anything. The C clamp is definitely, uh, it's tight, it won't fall off if you're working out, but it's not overbearing where it gives you a headache here. And I think it sounds like I'm yelling. <laughs> they have significantly gone down in price since I've uh, purchased these or picked these up. Um, you can check those out down below. Uh, lastly here, I wanted to show you a portable audio uh, product. This is the uh, JBL Flip Essential. This is my go-to uh, ba basically waterproof pill. Uh, this does not have the microphone. I know some of them, like the Flip 5 that's just come out, it does have the microphone, but you can connect USB, or, yeah, you connect USB, micro USB to charge it, and then 3.5 mill millimeter jack to, uh, um, in analog. You've got the buttons, Bluetooth play, and it, and it sounds super rich. Let me get you a song here um, to show you what that sounds like. And then uh, I think we'll end off there. Let you guys know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have anything there. Uh, appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit that follow button. Follow me along the way. And uh, I will get you your outro music. This is from uh, No Copyright Sounds. Actually, uh, yeah. And, uh, and their music I can use. No Copyright Sounds. came out today that's my speaker what what happened user error guys I'm sorry what I love about this is it's got the dual drivers on the front and back but it's not overbearing that it like rocks the world uh, you get a, 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 a you know enough of that bass drive for the music you're listening to without you know it uh reducing the trouble clarity that's pretty impressive so let me go ahead and connect this again um i thought i had it prepped before we started apparently not what happened did it die there we go Connectivity is super easy. There it is. It makes the cool guitar noise when it connects. There we go. This is halfway. In 
guys well that about does it here thank you so much guys for watching appreciate you guys uh please hit that follow button that like button subscribe down below if this is content you're interested in once the iphone comes out i will showcase a lot more of the cases when they're in hand once i get them in the mail otherwise these are some of the accessories that you guys uh, can consider uh we went over a few cases we went over a few of my favorite rigs um, we went over some lenses um, a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can definitely consider. With that said, guys, hit that like button, follow, please, and we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you next time.